Hello, I'm Kenan Prophet, and in this Blender Branch VFX tutorial, we're going to cinematically color grade some footage and add lens flares. Check out this result. So if you watch any Hollywood movie, especially if it's a J.J. Abrams movie, you might notice these cool linear lens flares bounce around all over the place in action scenes. And this is caused by the way light reacts to the anamorphic lenses that Hollywood uses. The lenses stretch the video and cause the light to bounce around and they get that really cool linear effect. So I spent some time trying to replicate this film look and lens flare inside of Blender and you get some pretty good results very quickly. So this is a lot of fun and really simple to do. So let's jump right into it. We're going to just use the compositing tab right here. And I'm going to check use nodes and backdrop. I'm also going to drag this window over just to give ourselves some more space here and change this to the timeline. So we know what's going on. I'll move that down, press in, give it that sidebar there. Okay, now we have a nice clean space here. I'll go ahead and delete that render layer. and I'm going to add in a movie clip node and open my footage and you can use whatever footage you want. I'll make a small portion of this footage available for download if you want to just have something for practice. So let's see, it is this footage right here. I'm going to press Control, Shift, and click on our movie clip node and that gets that viewer into place. And you can see currently over here on the right hand side we, are, we have our footage at 1920 by 1080. We're going to leave that uh, even though we are going to uh, crop it to make it appear as though it is anamorphic. And I'm going to leave it at 50% for now, just so uh, render time is uh, sped up. So because of that, I'm going to add in a scale node right after our movie clip. And we'll name this, we'll set this scale node to render size. And now I'm just going to scrub through my footage until we get somewhere uh, that has a nice light in it. Which is right about there. Great. Okay. So now what we want to do is add in a luminance key node. So this is, I'm not sure where it is actually. I'm just going to search for it. Luminance key. And we're going to drop that in right after this uh, scale node. And if we press control, shift, and click, we get that uh, uh, the output coming out of the mat rather than the image. And we want to adjust these values so that just the white, uh, the very bright light is affected. Um, so we can do that. We can clamp down on the high values and um, adjust the lows. Till we get the mostly just whatever is really bright in our scene wherever that light is and wherever the light is reflecting off that is going to be where we get our lens flares so um, again this is a very simple method and it's, it's quite effective it, it looks nice and you know it's not as good as jj abrams uh anamorphic <laughs> lens flares but uh it gets the job done so that's a pretty good map you can sort of scrub through your footage and find uh, there's a section of the video where there's part of the window in the background. You want to make sure that that's uh, nicely lit up there as well. Okay, so once you have that done, we want to add in a blur node. So just drop in a blur and right after that luminance key. And this is where sort of the fun happens. We're going to set the Y value to very small, about 2, the size to about 3, and the X value, because this is this horizontal value that's going left to right, we want that to be, you know, that really stretched linear lens flare. So we're going to set this really high. And you can play with the values. I'm going to start with somewhere around 300. And there you see we get that nice bended light and those streaks. It's very effective for creating uh, those subtle little flares. And now what I'm going to do is go to color and add an RGB curves node after that blur. And this is a fun node. I'm going to grab this white value. And it's basically, if you can think... Uh, it sort of does whatever the opposite of what it's saying it's doing. So if I take this toward the blacks, that boosts the lights. And if we take this toward the yellows, that sort of makes that blue. Yeah, don't ask me why, but that's what it does. And I want the blue light, even if it doesn't make sense. I know all the light in our scene is yellow, but <laughs> it looks cooler if it's blue. So we're going to have blue lens flares. So that's what I'm doing there. And uh, yeah. That's pretty much it as far as the flare goes. You can certainly play with these values. You can see just the effect it has. If you tweak uh, any of these numbers, you get totally different results altogether. And if you check Boca, I find you get some pretty cool results as well. Uh, I'm going to leave it unchecked just because it takes a little bit longer to render that way. So now what we need to do is we need to mix everything we created 
uh, for the lens flare with the rest of our video. So we can do that just by adding a simple mix node. I'm gonna plug that in right here. We'll set it to add. And we're gonna take the output of this scale node again. So we have one going into the lens flare. We're gonna take the other output. Uh, so this would be the clean video output into that mix node and plug it in on the top. And now we can adjust how much lens flare we have going on based off of this factor here. So very, very simple, very uh, clean and tidy. Just basically we're just using the light that's in the scene, not adding any light. We're just uh, using it to you know, blur it and move it around so that it's bouncing around everything. And if you find you have too much, like, uh, you know, it's, it's hitting that mug a lot and causing a lot of reflections. If your scene has a lot of, um, you know, glossy surfaces that has too much light, you'll want to go back to this map and just adjust it so that you have less of that um, going on. You know, and it's, it's all to taste. I sort of like the light hitting that mug and then uh, bouncing around. I think it, it has kind of an artistic flair. So that's what I'm going with there. So, uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for the lens flare. You can see we, we get some pretty cool effects going on. Now what we want to do is sort of fake that anamorphic look. And to do this, because um, unless you have an anamorphic lens that shot the video and then stretched it down to an aspect ratio similar to 1920 by 800, then uh, you have to just crop your video. So I know you do lose information, but it does make it look... Um, you know, cinematic, and it's a good workaround. So what I'm going to do, I'll just hold down shift and draw a line through this right here. And that creates an extra little node. We can just plug that into the compositor. That way we don't have to worry about those two. And now what I'm going to do is add in an alpha over node right after everything we've created here. And I'm going to add in an image node. And I'm going to open, it's essentially just a um, image with a uh, black bar on the top and bottom uh, used for cropping. So uh, if you want to make your own, this is the correct dimensions to make our uh, video appear as though it were anamorphic. Uh, you can make your own or you can just download this one. I'll have it available under the underneath the video on blenderbranch.com. And now we just want to plug that into the top of this alpha over. And it won't do anything because this image has to share the same scale as our video. So I'm just going to grab this scale node, press Shift D, duplicate it, drop it in after that, and press Convert Pre-Multiply. And it's still on the wrong, put it on the wrong ear. So that needs to go in the bottom. There we go. So boom, there we go. Yeah, it did crop our video, but like I said, uh, the look is worth it <laughs> just to have that little cinematic flair. Now we want to get into color grading to make this look... Uh, like it were a Hollywood movie. So let's uh, give ourselves some space here. First thing I want to do, I'm going to go up to this tab right here, this scene tab. Underneath color management, I'm going to go view of default, and you can play with these different uh, values here. They all do something pretty cool, but I'm going to use film. because so I want this to look like it was shot on film. And uh, you can see I like uh, these values here, the exposure and the gamma, you can play with those. I find for this particular scene an exposure value of about 0.2 and a gamma, I'm going to turn that up to 1.4 and that gets that nice uh, filmic look. And now I'm going to add in a color balance node, so I'm going to go color, color balance and plug that in right here. And I'm going to boost the whites ever so slightly and take them over to the blue. I think we normally you would want to make sure you have enough orange tones in your scene, but uh, the scene was already shot with a lot of a lot of orange tones already so I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and I'm gonna take the darks to the blue as well and I'm gonna take clamp down on these darks boost my contrast and are also sort of just the darkness of the background like so and I might bid m boost my mids a little so his face is uh, lit up and I might take the mids over to the yellow just ever so slightly and boost that up just so that we have enough face or enough light coming in on his face there and there we go that looks very nice now what I might do also uh, is add in a color hue saturation node and just give this uh, a saturation value of 0.95 so desaturating it a little bit 
which is pretty popular in a lot of color grading movies today. So that looks very nice, as you can see. So that's it. That's, uh, that's my really quick tip on creating lens flares and uh, cinematic color grading. You can see it all can be done right inside Blender very quickly, and everything is super customizable. You can boost this lens flare if you want. Uh, you know, you can change these values to 400, maybe 3, and you get different results all together. You get that nice wispy light, um, and you can also turn this down as well and just get totally different results. And, uh, yeah, it's I love it because it's utilizing the light in the scene by using this luminance key mask. So just as a review, we have our movie clip plugged into a scale node. That scale is going into a luminance key. We've adjusted that to create this mask of light. And then we've blurred that along the x-axis so it's bended and stretched. And then we've just boosted it using our RGB curves, added a little bit of color, mixed it together with our footage by adding that add node. And we can adjust the factor there. And then we've just added a simple uh, crop image to make our footage appear anamorphic and then just some simple color grading to make our final video there and you can see the effect if we toggle between the two if I control shift click on our footage very boring very DSLR looking now that is very cinematic and uh, awesome looking <laughs> so this was just a quick tip and I hope it's useful I hope you can go out and create some awesome short films or movies and uh, explore all the wonderful possibilities Blender has for compositing. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next BlenderBranch.com tutorial.